So in questions one through four, I graphed the imaginary real plane in order to explain the concept of the absolute value of the complex numbers. So in this case, I'm just going to actually use a formula, a simple formula, to determine the absolute value of each complex number. So if I have something like a plus bi, the absolute value of it will be just the root of a squared plus b squared. So let's start with number 5. So here we have 7 minus 3i. So the absolute value would be just 7 squared plus negative 3 squared. So that will be 49 plus 9 to be the root of 58. Square root 58. Great. How about number 6? Let me pick a different color here. So now our a, right? Our a is 2. So we have 2 squared, <coughs> sorry, 2 squared plus 5 squared. So be the square root of 4 plus 25, which is the square root of 29. That's it. About number 7. Here we have the square root of 10 squared plus 4 squared. That would be the square root of 100 plus 16, which is the root of 116. I can simplify this slightly, so I will, and just because 116 is actually just 4 times 29. So I can rewrite this as just 2 root 29. That's it. Okay, how about number 8? This would be just the square root of 4 squared plus negative 7 squared. It would work out to be 16 plus 49. And my mental math is terrible. Hope all of you know that already. So that's just the square root of 65. That's it.